Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Panzer General and the Mysterious JG. It's Axis turn 8, there are 23 turns remaining, so I think, at this point, we're probably looking at a major victory. Um, 23 turns left, and it took me 8 turns to do this. Uh, so we should have time to not only get a major victory, but also off-screen park my units, sort of surround the last objective, and... Uh, so I can have enough time to get all of these units over strength and ready for the push into France. Uh, but we'll see, folks. We'll see. Uh, you never know. I don't want to be overconfident here. Now we've got the um, Royal Navy up here, always a pain in the ass. So are there any suppression bombers that are free to just go up there and uh, talk to them, you know, show them who's boss? Well, let's not worry about that till after we've taken care of the, uh, the tanks. You're welcome. They are a pain in the ass. They are now thoroughly suppressed. How about these guys? This is why air superiority is such a big freaking deal. I mean, if you are having a tank duel and the enemy's tanks are as good or better than yours and they've got air superiority, you're in trouble. You've got air superiority and then there's stuff you can do. Like, you know, bomb the shit out of them. Not getting up here on this turn, so you can come up here and mess with these guys. You can start messing with Sasquatch, although it doesn't look like you're actually going to be able to destroy them, so... Destroy them! Enemies everywhere! 27 fuel, that takes them down to 17. So they do have enough to get back from there, especially because I just took this airfield. Damn it! But with no... no navy, uh... no Kriegsmarine at work here, this is really the only thing I can do about their navy, so... What? No! I wanted to move them! Alright, that's no fucking good, folks. I'm sorry. I gotta... I gotta take that back. I realize I'd already done a little bit on this turn. I apologize. But I can't just have them parked there. Because I misclicked with the mouse. That's gonna, like, potentially cost me a core unit. Because of a, you know, I clicked slightly off kind of thing. Not going with that, sorry. I can't go for that. Oh, uh, no can do. And if this happens to go better, um, then apologies, folks. Did not mean to cheat and gain an illegal advantage. Then again, it might go much worse. Who knows? About the same, but it didn't lose a bomber that time. That actually kind of sucked. Why, you may ask, am I moving my uh, artillery so close to the front? I just figure those tanks will be between them and the enemy. Darn you, guys. Darn you. Okay. No big deal. <laughs> I 
not supposed to lose any of my panzers to the Luxembourg LC, Low Country's infantry. LC's Low Country, not Luxembourg, but um, you never know. These are pretty crappy panzers. And they lost some of them to the Luxembourg Low Country infantry. Ugh. No, I wanted a slightly better uh, guy than you doing this, didn't I? Oh, I've got no ammo with those guys. Oops. Oh, nice. Maybe I can draw some idiots out. These guys are not at over strength, but they're still a three star panzer unit. They should not go down easily. Even if they are on a river. Sitting in a bad down by the river. There we go. Nice job, Junkers. Now let's not accidentally click on the fighter unit. There we go. To suppress and a little bit of prestige lost. Now, how are you going to do against them if nobody suppresses them first? You're still going to whoop their ass. How about you guys? You are not expected to be able to hurt them at all. Come on, 26th Panzer Division, this is your chance to prove yourselves by getting blown up. Maybe I should have suppressed them. I figured it was only one strength, and ugh. 26 Panzer Division, you suck. <laughs> They're the shittiest Panzer Division of them all. Yay! A big victory for one of my non core fighter units. So I don't think they even can get battle honors when they're not a core unit, but... I don't think uh, with where most of my bombers are parked, the uh, enemy air force, if there even still is one, can really get to them. So that's good. Because uh, the fighters, while not actually right on top of the bombers accompanying them, are sort of between any place they could de deploy from. And uh, the oncoming stall. Now I'm just sort of softening them up the entrenchment levels. I'm not too worried about doing damage or being able to attack on this turn. Well, I'm going to end up now with a bunch of bombers with nothing to do, so... Let's hope they don't join gangs. That's what happens to young bombers when you don't give them something to do to occupy their time. rugged defense. They've got an entrenchment of one, they're tanks, and most of them have been suppressed. But they get a rugged defense anyway.
just makes them pain in the ass to kill. Which, of course, they already were. There you go. Good job, uh, Mr. Schmitz. Now, let's see if you guys can't finish this. Soften up those entrenchment levels you guys don't have. I was really hoping, of course, I would kill one of them, but hey. Can't have everything. Or apparently, in this case, anything. You guys have a strength of four. I really should have used you instead of fighters for one of these things. But now, whatever. I can't really leave you out there on your own. You could get shot down. So too few of you to just throw out here and figure that you'll survive if you are attacked. So I screwed that up. Great. Alright, let's get back down here. You guys I was going to give elite replacements to, which is going to be kind of expensive. Let's see, how much prestige have I got? 882. What happens if I give elite replacements to a bunch of high-level jibbas? Click on the unit first, JG. Yeah, it costs over 100. Oh, you, you haven't moved either. Alright, well. Oh, so I could have brought those fighters, uh, the bombers over here with these guys as an escort, but no. Oh well. Live and learn, folks. Nobody appears to be blinking, which means I think it's trying to mess with these guys. Next turn, Sombre. Maybe I can get really lucky and force a retreat. They've got an entrenchment of seven. This might be a really bad idea, but... Okay, no rugged defense that time. I got lucky. Yeah! Figure, figure if I didn't get a rugged defense, I was definitely going to be able to take the city on this turn. If I did, it could have been bad. But hey, it's the French we're talking about. Maybe they've got a lower chance of getting a rugged defense because they're the French. Boom! Take that, France. Hope I didn't offend anybody in the last... St. Quentin. In the last video, with the sort of flippant way I was talking about the Holocaust, but, you know... Just in the sense that I was talking about how the Germans hate the French more than anybody, more than anyone in the world. Well, with one obvious exception. <laughs> Didn't mean that to sound flip. Because uh, most historians agree, the Holocaust was a bad thing. Kind of messed up. Oh, these bridging engineers could be the first unit I have in my army that gets to five stars. be pretty freaking awesome actually I mean, well these are going to be the last guys to get there because at the moment they seem to suck oh 
Oh, did I? Okay, I already did them. Ooh, slow down. Lots of slow down. Doo -doo -doo. It's lots of slow down. Okay, end the turn, moving on. And no response at all from our friends, the French. Or the Belgians. Or the British. You guys are out of ammo, so let's just bring you home for a bit. Too suppressed. That really doesn't seem that impressive for a full strength unit. It seems like that's pretty much what they're going to get no matter what. However, the city was rendered neutral, so that's interesting. There's really no point in having the uh, tanks take it. It's only a, an infantry unit, I believe, that can make it not be neutral anymore. If I put them in the city, they will be attacked by everyone trying to reclaim the city. But that should go their way anyway. And at this point, I've already lost a, uh, a non-core unit and decided that I just don't care enough to go back and try to re-record a video over it or anything like that, so it's all good. It looks like the Air Force is uh, over with. Looks like I have basically defeated their Air Force of, like, the Allied powers. Interesting. Slow down. Uh. There we go. Yeah, I actually killed some of these freaking tank bastards. I've become the sworn enemy of Tank Girl. <laughs> Another junkers ready to go? No, they both went, didn't they? One of them attacked the main city, and one of them came back to refuel and get ammo, more importantly. I suppose I can slow up a bit. I've got plenty of time. Instead of taking a bunch of heavy losses here, I can just, uh... Ooh, you need to, uh, refuel for sure.
And you need to refuel. Yeah, fighters with more uh, fuel would be nice. But uh, that was pretty much how it worked. Bombers had way more fuel than fighters. I should consider suppression bombing him, but I can't shake the feeling that there might be another allied fighter somewhere. And if I put a fighter here, even though it's only five guys, burgers and fries, they're still in a really good position to, uh, no, not you, to um, defend all of these fighters. Once again, leaves me with no place to put these guys, except that I could... We don't know what's going on down here. There might be any air. Let's have these guys bomb here. And they will have another fighter escort, because I forgot about these seven guys up here. French infantry. Oh, we are being attacked from the sky. Oh, oh, oh. oh Mert. Mon pied. Oh, wait, that doesn't make sense here. You guys have, like, how much experience? Like, 16. Ugh. I'm still going to spend money on elite replacements. Prestige, I should say. Get my badass panzers to come up here and deal with you. There we go. That's what I want to see. Anti-tank guns generally cannot get the drop on... Or tanks generally cannot get the drop on any tank guns. And these guys are not fully suppressed. But when you've got way more experience than them, sometimes it happens. Oh, this is not going to go... I don't have any ammo. It must be. It must be the amount of ammo. Yep. Alright, well, let's get some replacements for you as long as we can't use you for this turn. See, like you hear, they actually got off the first shot. They're not fully suppressed. They're not sexually repressed. They're just uh, French. French generally aren't sexually repressed. They pretty much do whatever wacky shit they feel like doing. Those are British infantry defending... Uh, the French city. It's mildly surprising. These are these bridging engineers who never get out of their freaking trucks because they're just so badass while in the trucks. Why not take the city of this turn? They will probably attack that bridging engineer unit on their next turn, but I expect I'll do alright. Delay. Prestige is back up to 700 plus. Probably lost a lot of it while reinforcing with elite replacements. These guys here probably a waste, but I'll never get them up to decent experience level unless I pamper them a bit at this point. Sorry, 
These are bridging engineers. These guys can get across and take over, but they're not. So, crap. They will probably reinforce, but not be able to retake the city. Maybe you guys can do something about this. Don't run out of fuel, though. Okay, good. They didn't run out of fuel. They're just big turtless tanks, basically. Oh, man. They let them survive. Oh, well, these guys can actually take the city and not quite finish those guys off. Now, finish you off instead, because the attacking those guys with seven entrenchment without doing anything to soften them up first it is a recipe for uh, heavily damaged and as you can see, rookie panzer unit. Yeah, that's right, too. These guys need the experience as much as anybody of finishing off a weakened unit. Okay, I'm pretty much sure that there's nobody down here because there's no cities for them to deploy from. I mean, it would make sense for the French army to be coming in from here because, you know, this is France down here, but that's not the way this game works, so... Guys, it's so difficult to get them rearmed. They're not like buying a commando in that respect at all. And these guys will harass my infantry, I think. Soft attack of 10, yeah. To be careful about letting them mess with my infantry. this, for example. Might be a bad idea. Ooh, I forgot about you guys. Let's uh, go ahead and get you reinforced while you're there to, uh, you know, start overpowering you and stuff. Oh, I didn't know I had another unit here. And I'm going to send you in without any kind of air support. What am I thinking about? Oh, well, it doesn't appear that there's any aircraft at the, uh... Ah, oh, man. See, if I'd done that, then I could have had these tanks attack. Although that probably was still an unnecessary gamble. Okay. Moving right along here. As these guys bring up the rear, about to pa to cross over the Sombre. Time to end this turn. We'll let the uh, allies take a turn. We'll try to squeeze in one more turn, or most of a turn, in this video. Ah, uh, as I'd hoped, them attacking my tanks is not going to go their way. I hope not, anyway. Even as long as they don't kill the tanks, I'm happy. If they force them to retreat, I'll, I can live with that. And they didn't even do that, so huzzah. Huzzah. Alakazam, I'm gone. Oh. Okay, good. I can see these guys again. Of 
Come on, don't die. You died! Shame on you. Ah, but you did some real damage. That's good. I really want to get rid of those guys. They are kind of pissing me off a little bit. Now, here's the ultimate test of whether they've still got an Air Force. Start attacking Calais, which is like one of the biggest cities they've got left. At least 20 prestige, because they really should not be letting me do that. And then Abbeville, but I don't think I'm... Oh, no, I am in range to attack Abbeville. But this... They might have uh, anti-air over here. I probably shouldn't have done this. No. Okay. Well, I know now. They are not at all ready to defend me against me. They're pretty much beaten at this point. Uh, the armor gave me a little bit of a headache, but they're they're done. Armor is finished with. You guys are not really worth the attention of that unit, so let's take them over here. In the meantime, so by the time they're ready to start rolling again, they will be in good shape. Yeah, and like soft targets like, uh, oh, see, now that didn't go as well as it should have, but generally those guys are really susceptible to uh, dive bombers. Now maybe you can come up here and uh, bother these guys. And if these guys had uh, ammo left, they'd really be uh, an unstoppable force at this point. Oh no, you guys are almost out of the juice being ammo. So I probably want you to attack and then stay in this city so that you can reload without being in any kind of danger. The precious juice. You guys have uh, two shots of ammo, so... Hopefully these guys will be finished off. We're forced to retreat into the river and then, yeah, finished off completely good. It means now they've only got one ammo left, which means these guys can attack them and they can fight back. And then, you know, if that happens, which probably won't now, uh, but they would have enough ammo to, to like, survive. not dislodge them.
Finish these guys off and take that city. This French infantry had a little bit more fight in them than I expected, but uh because I'm not using my bombers to their fullest anymore. I'm just kind of forgotten about them, it looks like. Me, the Rembrandt fighter. Mm. And nothing. Did you get bad honors for that? No, but you did for Norway, so good for you. Let's reduce the entrenchment levels of the guys who have an entrenchment of one. At least I'll feel like I'm accomplishing something if they can't kill any of these frickin' frogs. I feel like they accomplished something, even though they couldn't kill any of those frickin' frogs. See how that worked? I only got 27 fuel. That might not have been a good idea. Yeah, at least I'm with 14. We're not doing that, even though I could get some kills out of it. Anybody else who hasn't moved yet? These two guys are flashing. Oh, and one of them is even a bomber. Okay, and the fighter over here is not one of the ones I care about because he's not a core fighter, but he can still get over here and harass these guys a little bit. And I've gone over my time. I need to wrap this thing up here soon. Uh, and I'm also not talking very much. I'm sorry, folks. I meant to provide constant, hilarious narration. It's not really happening this time. Concentrating a bit. But, um, it's going pretty well. Uh, as surely should have been expected. I mean, if the, uh, Western Allies really didn't start taking the Germans seriously until they pounded the sh crap out of the low countries in, like, you know, speed that shocked them. They basically were not prepared for just how quickly the Germans rolled through. Because, of course, in World War One, you know, there's a lot of bloodshed in this part of Europe. Flanders Field and all that. I think that was northern France. Might have been a... It's a... Kind of, um... Wow. Entrenchment of eight. Not good. Need to soften this place up a bit. Because they've got those boats there that are just going to be a problem for anybody who tries to attack. That kind of sucked for me, too. Where is it that people... Where is, like, the Flemish language? That's, I think, where the Flanders Field thing went down. Anyway, let's, uh... Get, oh, shoot. Can't do anything useful with you. I want to get them up here to start attacking there, but these boats are going to bomb the shit out of them. Well, they need to resupply anyway. Is there a country name, or like nation name, or old regional name for where Flemish is spoken and I just don't know my like culture and history of the world and stuff 
or are those two completely separate ideas? The fact that there is a nation name for the place where they used to speak Flemish, and I don't know my uh, world history and culture. Two completely separate, equally true ideas, possibly. Hi there, French infantry. We're coming to take your city. As things are just going from bad to worse for the uh, Allies here, we've pretty much driven them to the sea. I mean, that's kind of the idea here, I suppose, but... Yeah, I need ammo and fuel. And I'm going way over here. This is like Romance of Three Kingdoms level of uh, going over how long I meant for the video to be. I used to do that all the time in that LP. But now I am at the end of a turn. Although I don't really feel like... I feel like playing more, but I promised myself I would stop at the end of this video. So let's end the turn, give the Allies their chance. Such as it is. It's raining. That annoys me. But, you know... It has to happen occasionally. So the Allies will get a little bit of a reprieve from the bombing campaign, but um, that's as good as it's going to get for them next time on Petalux Z. Anyway, folks, uh, when we come back, I've got quite a few turns left, and I've pushed through most of the map, leaving behind some anti-aircraft guns over here. Uh, we're, we're going to pick one of these two cities and probably surround it but not occupy it and then crush the other city and then spend a couple turns uh, just uh, you know building up forces some of those adjoined forces are the same burnt crosses but uh, you already knew that anyway folks that's gonna be it for this time we'll see you next time on let's play parents of general thanks for watching and uh, I'll be